Okay, so hello. And uh, you like my hair or fair style? Well, hairstyle. God, my English is very poor. Don't worry about it. So <clears throat> today we're talking about height. So here, I hope you can see this quite well, is the 90th, yeah, 90th birthday of Queen Elizabeth II. And this came with uh, three different effigies for 2016. And as you can see, the 50 cent coin is pretty much just the standard circulating coins. And these were all numbered. So the Royal Australian Mint was, they had an order system. So they were actually just going to make these to order. And this one's 9,312. But if we look on, uh, okay, if I can look on okay so here we have the numister site so this is the actual coin set that we see here and people got upset about this because they also put these in pncs so and if you look at the mintage they said for the free coin card there's 9108 but I have 9,312, so the numbers don't add up here. So, uh, once again, you can see, oh uh, yeah, yeah, 9,312. So obviously there's quite a lot more of these actual coin cards than were actually listed here. And Frosted, PNC, Okay, so that that the, that PNC is where is it again? Oh, it's up north. So that's the frosted PNC one half thousand, and then we get individual PNCs, beautifully uncirculated. So basically, this is what happens: a popular coin comes out, like I don't know the honeybee. This is actually quite a nice coin. Uh, this set of mintage is 60,000, so it should be quite common. If you can pick it up for 50, 60 bucks, we'll have a look. So, when these come out, they usually try to sell out. So, this one pretty much sold out straight away because there was lots of bots uh, getting in on the action, and those that didn't have a limit on. How many of these you can get? Pretty much, uh, they would have just been sold out within seconds because the bots would have just swiped them all up and taken them. And then they were selling on, so I think they cost 15 bucks. Then they're selling for like 40 or 50 bucks. And they, they would have tried to put them up to one to two hundred dollars. So that seems to be what happens. And we can see with the 2023, uh, two dollar coin folder uh that went from 235 up to about 500 dollars on ebay and people complaining about it so looks like they're going to have a ballot system a lot of the coin shops did have a ballot system for that uh and a lot of it, so they're trying to get the bots out so basically hype so people want this they get excited when they see it's sold out people get upset so, and the hype happens probably at least a month or two beforehand. So the people on, especially on the Facebook coin groups, actually I'd say it's basically on the Facebook coin groups, are actually talking these up and uh, trying to beat them up. And also on some of the groups, not all of them, uh, they put them on pretty much straight away. Or, I don't know, two to three times the actual value. So I think a lot of the problem is the Facebook coin groups uh, doing this. Now, the newspaper articles. You know, I, I don't read the newspapers. Uh, I'm not too sure who does. Uh, someone at work talked about newspapers and coins. I just told them, don't, don't listen to it. It's just garbage. So, uh, what can you do to get any of these coin sets? 
Uh, at a reasonable value. So a reasonable value, there is no definite. Like, a, a, this sold for $15. What would a reasonable value? Well, to me, probably on the second-hand market, probably double, now $30. Uh, or even, you know, the seller wants to make the money back, uh, maybe $20. Uh, $30 is okay. Uh, if you get over $30, uh, it starts to get unreasonable. $100, yeah, I think that that's a bit unreasonable. And like this, this actually, a lot of people ordered it because they thought that they could flog it off. So, yeah, it was probably about 10000 or so made. Obviously, the numbers don't match up. Um, so, but this was a flop. Some of them get beat up in the first place. Lots of people buy them. And then they just, you know, crash and burn. But you can also get a secondary hype. So this one was hyped up when Queen Elizabeth II died in 2022. And before that, they were struggling to reach about 30 to $35. But after that, Prices doubled to about 60 to 70. So, and that's where the current price is. So that's the second hype. So you've got the first type when these were produced, or just before, people were getting excited. Then there was the second hype when she passed away. And uh, this coin has only actually been through one hype. And then there's some other coins. So these great Aussie coin hunt. Yeah, this wasn't popular at first, but ever since they produced the second and third, uh, these sets are really jumpy value. So I think it was like $47 or something you can purchase this for. But basically you'd be buying this casing just for, uh, I don't know, 40 or $50. And with your coins, probably 120 130 So... That is something that didn't initially have hype, but it got hyped up later on. So that's basically what coin hype is. Just people beating the drum, saying it's really important that you get one. But realistically, it's not that important. There's lots of other stuff you can actually get um, out there. So... You know, if you're interested in coins, and this hype is putting the prices out of your range, maybe you can change, change to some other coins. So here I have uh, two Finnish coins. So let's zoom in. So these are, are two 10 marker coins. And these ones have a very interesting design. So here we have 1967, and these are both silver coins. So as uh, industry, and on the back we have some birds. Not too sure what birds they are. And this one is a very interesting design. Sorry, okay, got to know where to actually place the coin. Okay, so that is, yeah, just trees. Very nice, and on the... Front, so this is the front of the coin. We have a former president of now uh, Finland. So those ones you can probably get about twenty to thirty dollars because uh, you know they are a silver coin. Then we got the earlier coins of Finland. So here is a ten penny from nineteen sixty five. Uh, hyperinflation, not hyperinflation, inflated fifty marker. Then we have a Civil War coinage from 1917, five penny up. And then we have a one marker from 1970, 1872 silver coin. These are actually a bit expensive, but you know, for reasonable value, you can actually get those uh, sets. Or, you know, you can buy Chinese coins, really expensive, Spanish coins. And you can buy mixed world coins. What else have I got? Yeah, I've got Hong Kong coins. Beautiful. Um, 
also, you know, there's a here's some coins from Ottoman Egypt. So this is a twenty para or half a piastre, and there's half a piastre, no, half a millimeters. Okay, another twenty para. And they also come in small silver coins. This one's got a hole in it, so someone uses it as jewelry sometime. So it's very interesting. That's a two piastre coin. And here we have, I think that's a, a one twentieth of a piastre. I need to look that up. I can't remember. So you can get lots of different sorry, coins from all over the world. And you know what else have we got here? I got some more interesting stuff. You know, got some uh, old Austrian coins, so two shillings. This one's from 1930. What a nice coin, a little bit toned there. And here I got another one from 1929. Very good. Or you can even just get older Australian coins. So here I have two florins, they're both 1931, so that's those ones, these ones probably in fine condition, low grade, uh, but if you want to get pretty good pre-decimal coins, uh, you can get them pretty much for the price of a uh, red poppy. And well, basically, it's just the whole world out there. If you wanted to, you know, you've got another Angolan silver coin that's in the flip or a two by two, quite a nice coin. So, basically, if it, this hype makes these coin sets out of your reach, uh, there's millions of coins out there, so you can actually just change over, maybe change your hobby uh, as well if you. Coins actually destroys it for you. You know, you can go and get a, a trail by, go and get a metal detector and metal detect, go fishing, um, do literature. You know, maybe, maybe you like to collect pens, maybe collect all different types of pens. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, do videos if you want, educate people on the topic that you know. So there's just a lots of different things you can actually do out there. So basically, after this, I'm going to do a geology video about ooh, about the earliest rock in Victoria, which is Precambrian. Not Precambrian, it is Cambrian. Maybe there is Precambrian rock underneath, but obviously it's not exposed at the surface. So anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much. Hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Just remember, don't buy the hype. Wait a month. The prices for most items go down. Except for the red poppies. Can't help with that. Hooroo.